Hi, I'm Eileen Ward, the Wicked Gardener. I want to talk to you today about grass. St. Augustine grass uh, in particular is one of our more popular lawn grasses here in our subtropical area. And a lot of people think that cutting your grass short is not a good thing for your lawn or for your water bill. The specifications for this grass call for a cutting height of three and a half to five inches. In my opinion, four and a half to five inches is really the ideal cutting height because that gives you more blade. When you cut off your blades, when you're mowing your lawn, you cut your blades off, and then new grass grows up from the crown, which is your growing point of, of, a, of a lawn. It, it's here at the crown where the blade meets the soil and where the root meets the soil. So when you cut off the blade, new blade grows up from the crown and your roots continue to grow. However, cutting is really stressful for the plant and it will stunt the root growth for a short period of time every time you cut it really don't want to cut off too much of your of your blade. The blade is where the plant photosynthesizes. That's where it manufactures its food from the sunlight and turns it into sugars, which then the plant mostly uses that rather than what's taken up through the roots. And you have better root growth, better blade growth. The reason that the roots are so important is because the roots are what take the water up from the soil. They do take some nutrients up from the soil as well, and they filter pollutants in the soil. I've often said roots are the filters of our earth. So you want to, if you cut your, your grass too short, you're stunting your roots, and your roots will penetrate down into the soil if they're nice and deep, and they have access to more water down there. The top layers of your soil usually dry out first, but if you let your roots grow deeper, they, they can access that, that moisture that stays present farther down in the soil. They also make uh, for a stronger plant that can fight off diseases and insects, and they store the food that's manufactured in your blades. So, so roots are really very important, and you want your roots to grow and be long and healthy. So the other thing to consider with your grass is when you cut it too short, you allow sunlight to penetrate the soil around the plant. And this allows the soil to dry out quicker, and it also allows weed seeds to germinate. And then when the weed seeds germinate, you've got a thin grass that's not very healthy, and so they begin to spread and grow, and then the weeds take over the lawn. Whereas if you leave your blades longer, they shade the soil. That gives you moisture retention, and it also allows for a thicker sod that sunlight can't penetrate, and you don't get the weeds germinating. So you end up with a thicker mass of sod, you get more rhizomes, longer blades, less weeds, a healthier lawn. Two other things to consider with your lawn are watering and cutting. Mowing the grass should be adjusted according to your seasons. In the hot summer months and it's raining, we have a, a higher rate of growth and you need to cut your grass at least once a week. Then you get into the cooler months and the growth rate stops. It doesn't stop it, it slows way down. And the same thing in the dry spring months, you get a slower rate of growth. So you want to adjust your mowing accordingly and if your grass doesn't need to be cut, don't cut it. It's a process in a plant called transpiration where the plant takes moisture up from the roots, from the soil, and it, it transpires like we perspire the moisture out through its leaves and through the blades of grass to cool it. And if it doesn't have enough water, if you've turned your sprinklers off thinking, oh, it's going to rain, I can turn my sprinklers off, your lawn isn't going to have enough water to take up and it's going to wither and it's going to die. And I see a lot of people kill their lawns in the summer months thinking it's the rainy season and a good time to save water. It's not. Leave your sprinklers on when it's hot. And then you get into the cooler winter months and your transpiration rate is greatly reduced. And so the soil moisture is around a lot longer. You can start to have disease on your lawn if you're constantly watering uh, and keeping it wet all the time. And what happens when you get a disease is it attacks the crown area of the lawn, the stolen, the root, and or the blade. And what it does is it collapses the cells and then they can't transport water anymore. And so your blades start to turn brown. And when you see your blades turning brown, and so people turn their water on more and they feed their fungus. And then the fungus just spreads and takes over and kills their lawn. So you can see that it's really very important to know when and how much to water uh, your lawn here in the subtropics. So you don't need a lot of chemicals, a lot of water to have a beautiful lawn. 
Let your grass grow. Don't cut it so short. Grow a nice root system and the lawn will do the rest. Follow me, the Wicked Gardener, as I unlock the secrets of your subtropical landscape. It will be an exciting adventure. This episode was brought to you by Meraki Hive. <laughs>